All right, it's, so it's about time I finally do a video on this kit box. It's just a slightly different circumstance than I was expecting to do it. Um, my beautiful 916 powered bronze Lindy award-winning kit box is for sale. I'm asking $365,000 for it. I never expected to sell it, um, but I was presented an opportunity to move to South Africa for a couple of years to work on some engineering stuff with Sling. And, uh, you know, I can't bring it with me, so here we find ourselves. Um, you know, I, it's just the most fun airplane to fly, and, you know, it's every bit and then some of the performance of a carbon cub with the lower fuel burn from the Rotax engine. And it's, it's an off-road monster truck airplane, and <laughs> it's the most fun airplane to fly that I've ever flown. Um, so it's got every upgrade feature that you can get from Kit Fox and then several of my own. Um, it's got the three axis autopilot with a yaw damper. It's got custom stick grips that I did, um, trim on the stick and a push to talk on the front, little accent trims. Um, it's got the rosin sun visors and the Koger sun shade which is nice for the bubble canopy because then, you know, pull it and give yourself the shade. And, um, the, the canopy cover for it back there, I did smoke acrylic uh, quarter windows back there. And I think that just ties in with the black paint and you could still see at them. I mean, so it's, it's kind of a win-win there. Um, yeah, there's a, uh, oh yeah, uh, Acme Aero suspension, uh, front and rear. And that stuff, by the way, is just fantastic. So if you're building a kit box or want to do a little modification to your kit box, I think that that is just night and day. Um, well, it's a bad pilot helper is what it is. You know, it's, it doesn't bounce, it just soaks it up. Um, it makes everything beautiful. So this plane has 97 hours on it currently. And uh, I'm really not, really not flying it a lot right now. Um, just keep it beautiful and nice for its happy new owner. Um, yeah, so the some other kind of custom tweak stuff that I did on it was back here. I put a aft baggage compartment, carpeted and and pretty nice. And so that is meant to help offset the weight of the slightly heavier engine, the 916 up front. Um, and, it, and it works pretty well. So you kind of put stuff that you're gonna bring with you anyway back there and uh, help balance the airplane a little better. So I was just really, really happy with how this thing turned out. And I can't emphasize enough that there is no, no way to have more fun in an airplane than to fly one of these. Um, takes off easily within 100 feet um, and then your landing distance is a good bit uh, dependent on who's flying it you know a really good pilot will get it in 100 feet and me maybe 200 feet so um, yeah it, it earned every bit of that badge unreasonable fox uh, if you don't like it it's final um, same thing with the EMB aviation tags on it there, but the rest is all paint uh, All this honeycomb stuff that that we did on it. It's all paint and beautiful and juicy 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 um, Yeah, I keep forgetting there's a ton of little custom things in this plane like, you know I'm probably still gonna forget half of them, but the the fuel quantity gauges there. That's a uh, custom powder coat and laser etched. It's just a little cleaner than the Kit Fox factory kind of standard option. Um, yeah, it's just endless. Uh, the, the door seals are uh, high quality door seal. Um, yeah, I mean, the list of things is just pretty much endless. This is, it's got to be the most decked out Kit Fox that's ever it might be the most decked out kit box that's ever been built. And then uh, certainly the most beautiful, perfect kit box that's ever been for sale. Um, 
So anyway, uh, shoot me an email at evan at embaviation.com and uh, if you're interested, we'll go from there. I'll put all the details to the plane in the description of the video as well. So, all right then.